So, today we are taking a look at Planet X Falcon, better known as Grimlock from the Fall of Cybertron series. And as you can see, I got him in his T Rex mode right now, and he is pretty cool, as you can see. And he's he's big. He's really big. Yeah, he's a big guy. So let's just start off with the articulation, and we're just going to start off with the dinosaur hands. As you can see, they can move all the way around because they are on a hinge. Yeah, they're on a hinge and they can rotate. So that's pretty cool. The arms can go up all the way like this and down. And the two uh, top floors here can go up and down. So that's pretty cool. For the legs, we can go forward, backwards, all that fun stuff. You can rotate the leg if you want. You can fold this all up if you want. Not entirely sure why you would want to do that, but you can if you want. Next we have the head, it can, it can look up, look down, you can rotate his head and if you pull it for him, his head a little bit forward, you can see, there's a little bit of motion to look to the side, which is pretty cool. And of course his mouth can open and close and we do have a flamethrower thing thingy here, no accessories for this, it's a little bit of a shame but not sure if I would have used that but okay. So um, yeah, we have the um, thrusters here, as you can see they can fold up but down a little bit, not that much. And we have the tail and this thing is articulated as you can see, every piece here is on a hinge and it can just move all the way. You can do, do all crazy stuff, stuff, stuff with it. So yeah, pretty cool. You can, can't really move up and down because of the, of the hinge, a little bit movement, but that's pretty much it. And yeah, the detailing on here is pretty nice. You can see the light piping in the head is pretty cool. You can see it's, it's very cool, very nice. No screw covers. No screw covers uh, for this guy, but yeah, I really don't don't mind it because it's still a toy, and toys do have screws. So yeah, he also does come with some weapons. So we're gonna look at this little sword. Don't know why. It's pretty pretty small. It is tiny. Ah. Uh, Sword and shield. I'm. Is this sword? I mean shield. Okay. And it's tiny sword. I mean, come on. Okay. Of course, I'm talking about this shield, but not this one. Yeah, you can. And you can see the difference. It's 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 big. And of course, the sword. I'm just gonna put it to the side. And of course, the swords. Yeah. Much, much better. You can store the sword on the um, shield here, just like that. And you can just plug it in right here. I'm not sure, not sure why, but you can do that. Since, uh, since I showed off the Grimlock, uh, on the Grimlock's weapons, here we have him with the Takara version. Yeah. I'm. Yeah, his mouth can open and it lights up. Well, that's a that's a good thing, right? Right? I'm not sure. Yeah, Daddy T-Rex, baby T-Rex. Okay, I'm just going to get him out of the frame here. We will see him again in robot mode. I'm just going to add the rest of 
the Dinobots into the frame. If I'm not gonna stand here, something like this, just pose him like there. There we go. So here we have, if I can remember the names correctly, but here we have Neptune. And we have Sermanus, correctly. We have um, Qui Quinerinis or something like that. And we have uh, Aegis. So basically, we have all the dino, uh, dino bots here from the Fall of Cybertron line. And I'm just going to get my camera so you can get a good, get a good look at them a little bit. And yeah, they pretty much scale good together, if you ask me. So that's uh, that's pretty pretty cool, pretty good. I'm going to put them to the side again. We're going to talk about them a little bit later again. When we are going to get to robot mode. So speaking about the robot mode, let's transform this guy so the first thing I want to do is just, just unpack the tab on his uh, head here next we're going to fold the dyno hands up and just make sure everything is closed and all like that next we're going to go under here we're going to untap this panel here Pull it down and just fold this panel up under the head. Going to push the head back. There we go. Next, we're going to unpack the pack side here. There, there, packed in here and on here. You guys can see that. There's a pack that's in here in the hole on the leg. Next, we're going to split the tail apart. Just take it easy, just be careful, and everything will be fine. I'm going to rotate this piece around, I'm just going to fold this piece in, and fold this piece in. And it fits nice in there. Same on this side, so fold this in, and fold this in, there we go. Going to split the legs here. I'm just going to fold them down for now. I do believe this is the best way to do this, I hope. Next we're going to untap this piece here, Let's, which goes up here. But all the pieces out of the way and we need to rotate it on the hinge and it makes a squeaky so sound. But oh okay, okay. Next we're going to fold the dino head down. And this, these pieces need to go on here. No, I hope you guys can see it. But of course, now it's struggling with the transformation. There we go. Just fold this, these pieces around and tap it back into place. Make sure this piece is on there. Next, we're going to get this chest section up and it will tap into place up here. If everything goes correctly, of course it won't. There we go, because this is on camera. Just stay, the, let the arm stay like this. There we go. Next, we're going to rotate, um, rotate this piece here. I'm going to fold the head up again. I take this piece, and I'm just going to. Get this piece around here. Of course, I'm doing it not in the right way. Let's fold this piece up and fold it over here. Let's fold it beside this piece. It can be tricky, and of course, now it's trickier than normally. Let's fold this piece around alongside here. 
And these hinges are flexible, so they, they can, um, you know, they, they can do the, yeah, do they? They can bend a little bit, so yeah. Um, don't have any stress marks on them yet, so it's pretty good. I'm not sure how many times I did transform him, but I did. Um, next, we're going to do this side, and this side is a little bit, well, it's it's easier because, yeah, this just, of course, I think I saw mine a bit wrong. There we go. Because I think I should have started with the legs first instead of the edge. But oh well, we have him transformed. Well, the legs almost, there we go. Okay. And I will be doing some sort of transformation video from. Robot mode to dino mode, but I still need to figure out the time when I'm going to do that. But I will have a video up for that and a little bit closer of the transformation. So, next, we're going to take the feet and we're going to rotate this, the pieces around. You can, you can get these pieces out if you, if you well, it should give a little bit more stability, but. I'm not sure if they, they do that. There we go, let's fold this piece out. Next, we're going to fold this piece and this it will tap into place right here. As you can see, it will tap into place there. No money, there we go. Um, don't be a pain. There we go. Yes, that's one. Next, this feet, just rotate it down and make sure this feet, this piece is folded in. And this piece will tap into there. Let's see, there we go. I'm going to straighten the legs. Oh, he's standing pretty much. Oh, I want him to stand. There you go. This piece, of course, goes. Yeah, there we go. Next, we're going to rotate the arm around. I'm just going to do the same on this side. Just rotate the arm around. There we go. We're going to untap. This piece just slides back on the hinge. Just like so, there we go. Same on this side, slides, untaps and slides back. And it's still on the hinge there. There we go. Next, we're going to do this piece. This folds down. And there we go, like that. Same on this side, it just folds down. And there we have Grimlock in his robot mode. And this guy looks absolutely awesome. Yes, this, this is just an absolutely awesome guy. Oh, and I've just forgot to rotate these down. I like them down like this. There we go. Yeah, this is really an awesome, awesome figure. Yeah, it's 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 that good. Normally, normally I would, would yeah, I think I'm not sure what I normally would say, but it's just that good. And I forgot to transform this part. I see. There we go. Not sure why they are on hit because if you stand them up, they, they don't touch. If you can, you can even push them up, but they they won't touch the ground. So I'm not entirely sure why they are there. You could probably leave them away or off. So we can just, if you want, you can just push them back, and you will stand perfectly fine without them. So so yeah, it's it's one step less in the transformation. So let's just focus in the head sculpt for a little bit, and it's 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 really a nice head sculpt. 
it really is. And I like, I'm not sure if the light piping works now because of the lights, but the light piping is really good on this guy. Now for art articulation, his head can rotate, it's on a ball joint and it's, it's, it's all you need, basically. His arms can go up this far, can rotate, 360, yeah they can, of course. The upper arm can rotate, even when this piece is, is, is down, it will push it out of the way and you will, well, you don't have any problems with that. Next we have the arm that can bend like this. Even using the um, dyno mode articulation right there, if you don't use it, well, you have this, and then you have this. So that's pretty cool, pretty nice. He does have a wrist joint, can rotate. As you can see, pretty much in his hand, can open and close. Because of the transformation a little bit, he does have a waist joint and the dino head is just resting here, it's not, not packed in or anything, but the articulation is still there, so that's pretty good, pretty nice. Next up we have the legs, and as you can see they can go move, they move forward and backwards and to the side, pretty much everything you want. You can rotate it there. And he's does have a knee joint to do the upper ratchet joint there. 90 degrees of the knee, and if you can, if you use the other knee, you can get a little bit, a little bit something like that. There we go. And his feet can rotate, move down. So you can get a nice A stance for this guy. I think it's this impact here. There we go. And of course this piece. That's a little bit of a problem. These pieces pop out. Yeah, that's, and that's the only thing that's really a bit of a problem. But that's okay, that's no problem at all. So, uh, oh, we're going to get Kareelis right here. I need to fold this. Because he has these things right here. Um, right here. Um, there we go. Oops, there we go. Like, just like in the in the um, game, we can just pack him on here. And I'm doing this the wrong way, there we go. And he can, normally he can lift him. And they're just packed in right behind the head right there. As you can see, packs in right here. Right there, there we go. See, that is pretty good, and it's really good. It's pretty good. It's really good. And moving to the side, let's. Uh, so here we have him with the Takara version, and as you can see, he's much, much a little much bigger, much beefier than the uh, Takara version. Which is just perfectly for me. Yes, this it, it is it's just perfect. I'm just going to put this piece away. And here we have him with his other dino butts. There we go. Don't fall over, please. Thank you. Don't fall over again, please. Thank you. Very very loose. Not sure why that is, but it's not fun. There we go. Here we have all the Dinobots in their robot mode. And yeah, this team is complete. 
is just awesome. It really is. A little bit of a shame that this guy of mine is pretty loose, as you can see. It's, 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 yeah, and his feet is loose. I'm still need to fix it, so maybe, maybe if some of you guys have any idea how to fix that, then. Yeah, I will try that. So yeah, I'm just going to put them a little bit further to the side. The shadows will be on screen, I think. Oh, maybe I could just go more right here. It doesn't fall over. There we go. There we go. Don't, don't, don't fall over. Okay, there we go. And of course, he can hold his shields, his shield and sword. So I'm just going to peg it in right here. And fold it up. There we go. Of course, he can hold his sword like so. There we go. And he's all ready to kick some Decepticon butt. Yeah, I think uh, I think we covered it at all. Like I said, I will do a transformation video. I'm not sure when. But I will, I will make one from robot mode to dino mode and then dino mode to robot mode. Um, yeah, it's, this, this guy is really awesome, so g get him. If you like Grimlock, if you like Fall of Cybertron, and you just want one dino mode, get Grimlock. He is the best. So, uh, yeah, I think, I think that I need to end with, with that. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please leave a like subscribe and uh, comment and um, I will see you guys in some other video somewhere in the future I think yeah